Hi, this is Marty Manning. I'm in one of the most beautiful spots in the valley. When we think about uh, a place being a gem, I like to think of the Royal Palms Resort. A beautiful estate made uh, wonderfully modern for you with beautiful rooms, swimming pools, and of course, delightful restaurants as well. We'll meet the chef in a moment. But uh, I want you to just take a moment and just uh, feel the beauty here. I'm in a, a delightful little nook, one of many such places that you'll find uh, throughout the area. Uh, of course, if you were thinking about a, a wedding, this would be a beautiful place to have a wedding. And of course, when you're thinking about a staycation, you definitely want to be thinking about the Royal Palms Resort. Now, as I said, let's meet the chef. Well, we are right now with uh, Chef Paul McCabe here at, uh, now this is Cervantes Bistro, did I get that right? You did, Cervantes Bistro at the Royal Palms. Okay, so uh, T. Cook's is closed for the summer, you're doing some wonderful uh, renovations. We are, revitalization we're calling it. Ah, okay. Um, so it's going to be completely rejuvenated, new kitchen, and we're going to re be relaunching in September. September 9th is our target date. Yeah, and as only you could have here at the Royal Palms Resort, uh, we have this uh, beautiful space available, Cervantes Bistro, uh, surrounded by beautiful art and, of course, uh, with uh, tasty treats. Now, tell us what you're going to be making for us here today. What I have here is what we're calling a farmhouse salad. Um, it's everything that's coming from the farmer's market and from our little garden that we have. Well, we're planting a bigger garden, so when we reopen, we'll have a nice little root vegetable garden too. Um, so what you have on the bottom here is sun-dried tomato puree. That dark line right there is uh, dried olives. <clears throat> There's black garlic puree. And then this is a piece du gelée. You have to try it. You have to here, just mm. you gotta try it. It's mm. uh, basil, tarragon, chervil, um, a little bit of sherry vinegar, honey, and um, gelatin. That's unique. Isn't that nice? It's very herbaceous. And so that adds a nice little flavor to things. It does. And so we're going to put some fava beans down. Fava beans. Um, well, you mentioned that uh, now these are from uh, your garden here and also from uh, Farmer's Market. A and I know that you really stress using uh, local ingredients and so forth. Oh, we do. We do. Um, we're, we're building relationships with farmers um, every day. And I really think that our food is only as good as what comes out of the farm. It's, it's the truth. And if we don't mess it up in the kitchen, it's going to be delicious. Well, I'm sure you're not going to do that. So here we have, we have carrots going on here. These are purple carrots. Um, you can use any vegetable you want. This is fennel. I'm going to put some fennel down. And I'm tossing all of this in a cucumber vinaigrette. It's cucumber juice, cucumber juice, lemon, and um, a little bit of agave nectar and nothing else. So there's no oil in this at all. I have to say right away that just looking at this uh, and surrounded by all this art, this is a work of art already. <clears throat> Thank you. That's, uh, that's kind of what we're going for here. Um, and because there's no uh, olive oil in the vinaigrette, um, we took maltodextrin, maltodextrin and um, olive oil and put them together and you make a nice little powder out of it. And that we're going to put right there. Um, this is a little watercress for some, um, a little bite to it. So it's got some pepper notes. Then out of the garden, these are absolutely beautiful. Um, onion flowers. We're just going to finish this with some onion flowers. You just I don't believe I've ever heard of onion flowers before. Oh man, they're awesome. They're awesome. It's a great part of the onion without having the big bulb. Um, and then you can put, like I said, anything you want. We happen to have some freeze-dried corn. It's corn season right now in the middle of summer. And the crunch of the freeze-dried corn just works great with this dish. And that's it. Here that's we go. it. As I said, a work of art. And what do you call this again? So the farmhouse salad at Cervantes Bistro. Uh, tell me about some of the other uh, things that you might be featuring for the summer here. Oh, we have, um, we're doing a corn annulote, um, which is beautiful corn, just pureed and folded into um, pasta, served with poached lobster, brown butter, sauteed corn, and some maitake mushrooms. And uh, we still have the romance going full bloom as well, don't we? We do, and a dish <laughs> like that, a dish like that could really work, right? Okay. <laughs> there is no more romantic place in the valley than here at the Royal Palms. And Chef, thank you so much for spending thank time you. with us. Thank you, have a great day. So as you can see, dining is always delightful here at uh, Royal Palms Resort and Spa, and Tea Cooks will be reopened uh, September 9th. Meanwhile, Cervantes, just wonderful for your summer dining. And of course, you're surrounded by beauty everywhere you look here, right in the, the heart of uh, the Arcadia area, midway between Phoenix and Scottsdale, Camelback Mountain right there, beautiful flowers, 
uh, water features. Uh, right in front of me right now, a little bird coming to get a drink at the fountain. Uh, you're going to see things like that. You'll find little nooks like this throughout the entire property. It's just delightful. RoyalPalmSummer.com will get you all the information you need about special summer staycation packages. And be sure to be listening to Beth and Friends for your chance to win a staycation here at the Royal Palms Resort and Spa. More information also at KEZ999.com. Keyword, staycation.